There have been a ton of turnovers really for both teams here in the first half. But great ball movement. Reese couldn't finish it though. Uh, I was surprised Marl came out of the paint area. She had Je Destiny Jackson on her. She had the mismatch with set the on ball screen. It was a beautiful pass for Reese on the, off of the roll. Play Zach looking for that baseline. Got way down low and a whistle and she will turn it over. Really good defense by Flaje Johnson there. 28 22. Kim Mulkey hoping this is simply a case of a lot of rust having not played in a long time, couple weeks. And Helly Van Lith's been on the, on the bench the majority of this quarter for those two fouls. Misfire here. Williams, that one goes out with a minute 30 before halftime. I'm just going to take a guess based on Kim Mulkey's face. She was not happy with that shot whatsoever. And I go back to take the shot that's good for your team, not the easy shot. And that's what LSU's been selling for so far this first half. Sound looking for a guard. Finally gets it to Jackson. Great defense by Power. Out of the trap. They got it underneath in any event. And Sound will finish that. So 28-24, the number 14 seed, very much alive, under a minute to go before they head to the locker room, and only a four-point game. Pola with a triple, way short. Reese going for the save. And again, looking for a save, Williams did a terrific job there, but the shot clock is down to five, and a whistle. As Angel Reese went sprawling on the baseline. 38.7 seconds remaining in the quarter. And Haley Adams will pick up the foul. And will send Angel Reese to the line. And drops in number one, the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. First round continues today on CBS, TBS, TNT, and True TV. For more information on tournament game times and networks, go to NCAA.com. The All-American with her second and made the pair. She has four, but also 11 rebounds already. Tim Mulkey and Poirin Poe to get up and get a little bit more ball pressure. It would be Destiny Jackson with the ball, the point guard for the Owls. About eight second difference between the game and shot clock. Jackson on the move. Great defense by Poe, not letting her use the high on ball screen. Plays that, can't get off a three, flips it in. Just tossed it up there with the shot clock going down and made it. Poe with the heave, had more time to get across midcourt. But how about this score? LSU only by three over the number 14 seed. Emily Klazak with an absolute prayer here. Just flipped it up there. Well, with the, the shot clock winding down. The fifth May three is the biggest of the half for Rice. <laughs> Momentum shifting to the Owls as we head to halftime. So at the break, LSU, they've been a turnover factory. They lead by only three over Rice.